Welcome back, Exiles. Thanks for staying tuned. Coming up next is event number 14, Normal Zaro Kill. But with a special twist, players must can only use Summon Raging Spirits. And they have to use it at level 4 and onwards. Commentating the event is Zizarin and Lifting Nerd Bro. What's up, guys? Hey, thanks for having us. How thanks is everyone us. doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. So I'll let you guys just go get right into it and good luck. We have about uh, three uh, race starts here, and um, I'm pretty excited to see uh, what people have uh, decided to go for with class today. Since you can only do use uh, SRS, um, I was thinking uh, we would see a lot of uh, witches as they would get it as a quest reward, but I guess the fact that it doesn't cost much is not um, much of an issue. I, is it in wisdom at that point in time, sis? If you have to buy yeah, it from the vendor, it's wisdom. wisdom. And you got to remember that the Scion is close to so many of the uh, damage nodes as well. Like there's a really good cluster to the left and you're close to the life wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it seems like uh, from, yeah, a majority of Scions, you have three Scions and I can't see a Noogie stream right now. Let me see if I know. There we go. I just click on the Twitch part. Yeah, we got it now. And uh, in the uh, upper... Uh, left corner, we have Dead and Doom, we have Nuki in upper right, you will lead down by the bottom to the uh, left and uh, Freak, POE, um, as the last person. And um, now, do you do you know Freak, uh, Sis? Because he's probably the person, he's the dark horse, and um, I don't know much about him. Do you know so, uh, He's a really, really good player, and somebody that always comes pizza on the ladder and stuff, but I don't know how good he is at like the short racing. So it's going to be interesting for me as well to see how he does here. Mm -hmm. uh, who do you think will uh, will take the uh, the win tonight? Um, the Uberly is actually my favorite today. Mm -hmm. So he, he plays summoners like so much more than anyone else. I feel like <laughs> he's got a big advantage here. And he's recently uh, gotten first 100 playing SRS too. Isn't that uh, right yeah. in the two-week race? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's a, it's a little different from uh, trying to get Isaro first kill, but um, still, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to use his SRS. I'd and... say it's between him and uh, Dead and Doom. Like, Dead and Doom's been practicing a lot for this, I think. I've seen a few times, at least. Has he been uh, playing with uh, SRS, too? I don't think I've ever seen him play that. Well, I don't think he's I don't think he's ever played it before now. I can't imagine him ever using that ability. But um <laughs> I saw they were talking about it in the race discord that he uh managed to do like a fifty two minute vol and that's including everything uh like trials and stuff. So that's a very fast vol when he's not played it a lot. Absolutely. What time uh, are you expecting to see the first kill tonight? Uh one hour forty five minutes. One hour forty-five. I think we've seen a few uh, normally Saro kills with uh, without the restrictions being around one twenty around that time. What was it you got the last time you did it? Oh, I can't remember. Like I barely look at the timer. I don't think oh. I remember to stop mine either. About timer. The race is on. The countdown is up, and we're seeing them move around now. Here it is. Yeah. And uh, it seems like everyone managed to disable their tutorials before it was too late and being slowed down. Yeah, it's always interesting to see in the in the newbie races, you always have some people forgetting to put it on. And uh, I'm surprised mm -hmm. that uh, Noogie is the only one putting force move on mouse button one. Well, Noogie is a hipster, so I, I'm not too surprised to see that, actually. he. But I think it'll be a little different here is that we're not going to see much of an uh, onslaught gym action, well, I guess. I, I think we will definitely see... Oh, yeah, oh, you're right, you're right. No onslaught. But actually, it's pretty interesting that New Year's... I, I would usually just move mouse button one away from auto attack, but still, uh, you'll see the other people killing a hillock a lot faster than New Year because the spectral throw does a lot less damage than the auto attack. I think the... Um... Yeah, Nuki's even trying to to put Hillock up in a position where the uh, projectiles will run fast. But the first kill went for uh, Dead and Doom, or Freak, uh, sorry. And he's the first yeah. one in the line size. It's just so little, so little damage early on. I'm wondering if people are going to change the spells or Molten Strike. 
It'll be interesting to see what they use until they get summon raging spirits. I'm uh, I'm a little curious about that too. Probably, do you think it's worth spending your your early um, wisdoms here, unless there is movement speed boots, or what would you do? Mm, no, it's not like you need an iron ring or anything. You could probably pick up a spell gem for some faster levels, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely would check for movement speed and you check again when you hit level three. And you can see that New Year's building some crazy strats right now. Look at this timer. Do you feel like that gives him an advantage? <laughs> that's it's I, I can't comment on that. That's that's too weird for me. Once again proving his hipster status. That's something else. <laughs> that is something else. And uh, I can see them they actually do go for some kills here on the uh, on the first zone. Do you typically try to get uh, level two before going up against Hail Rake, or do you prefer even going into well, the we, mud flats and doing it first? We do get the free level two now, so the next level is three. Oh, but it's, three. Uh, okay. it's a new change; it's fine. But mm -hmm. uh, I usually don't end up leveling up. I usually run straight down to Hail Rake, then run behind the boat. So it's either all picking up Cleave now, except for Freak, which is picking up Spark. I feel like Spark with Pierce is a really, really good uh, choice early. I, I get, ooh, and very, very close to death on Freak down there in the right corner. Oh, I wow, yeah. And, and he's dead. Oh, he's dead. The first that is a penalty. Two minutes into the race, or almost three minutes, and we're seeing the first kill here in tense. That's what happens when you can't use Sunder, of course, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember that like hail ring early on is very easy to die to. Like mm -hmm. in the normal GGD range races, you'll see a lot of pro racers dying because sometimes you can do double or triple glacial cascade, and it's so easy to go down to that. That's a really bad penalty to have this early in the race. That's why you want to get him behind the boat. And Freak even uh, has a harbinger down by hail ring to going a little low Ooh. again. Then doom the first person to pick up a quick silver. And he managed, or Freak gets him down without another kill. Nuki looking for some uh, movement speed. Boots, I take it. And yeah. we still have Uber Elite fighting down by Hail Rake. Oh, and wow, I guess the, pretty slow on the, Hail Rake. the only thing that's going slower than that is Rice QT's uh, weight loss, but. I'm not sure, like, he needs to pick this up if he wants to win. Oh, oh, we might see Uber Elite dying here. He is so, oh my god. 11 life. Right now. Wow. And he nice. Gets what a legend. What a man. <laughs> what like, a I'm really surprised that he could get behind that boat with the size of his testicles. Like, that is... <laughs> he has been known to have massive testicles. And uh, a donger that can sweep the area. Is um, we now see them in, in the mud plants. It says, could you try and explain to the people who may be a little uh, new to the game or haven't really noticed that? But what do you do? What do you look for in the mud plants to go through it as efficiently and fast well, as possible? It's changed a little bit. Usually, you would look for like the water path before, which you could like see, uh, like there's like a line between them. That's sort of been removed from the minimap. Luckily, they've sort of increased the area of uh, that you can see quest items for now. So I usually just like run in a pattern where you can like see the highest coverage area. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the first people in submerged two yeah. and uh, and an SRS skill picked up on Dead and Doom so far, and he is level four now, so he will have to start using uh, SRS. That is the rules. And yep. he just Free walked over picking now. it up as well. We still have a uh, Uber lead. Running around, killing rabbit uh, rowers in <sighs> the uh, mud flats. It's going to be very painful to watch this SRS early on because uh, you don't have the melee splash gem until you head lower prison. And something that's going to be a very big pickup for the players is going to be anything linked with red and blue. If you can get red and blue with plus one fire, that would be huge because it'll level up your SRS. And that's very big early on. So plus one fire, we'll see a lot of players trying to get. What kind of uh, other items are you expecting to see from the uh, players here? What will they want to try and get? Um, so something I'm expecting for especially Uber Elite and stuff who like play SRS and have leveled up a lot, there is a recipe to make a plus one minion helmet. So if I think we'll see a lot of people checking vendors. If they can get a plus one minion for Link helmet before hitting his RO, that's huge. So you need mm -hmm. like a... Um, 
bone shield and uh by that you can create a animation flask and then you can craft a uh plus one minion helmet which is huge and, and getting a four link as well on its own is crazy so we'll see what we end up having people pick up all right dead and doom struggling a little bit with the srs not dealing any uh, melee splash yet and uh, being the first person on the ledge though looks like he's farming some skeletons you can see such a difference from watching like marauders and duelists where you see them just shredding through everything with cleave and here even like stacking them together is just not going to make you farm them any faster like it's yeah. all single target at this point what level do they want to make sure they reach before uh, going up against brutus and as a minimum uh, sis well, um, Brutus with SRS, especially since they have Decoy Totem, should be super easy. And we can see, uh, I think everyone except the really has a Decoy Totem at this point. I think he has one in his inventory. So I'm guessing we're going to see a Brutus kill just around like level 8 or 9. It should be very, very simple take out. And I'm not expecting any deaths to Brutus. When you race, what do you generally try to do? Do you want to be a couple of levels uh, below the zone? Or do you just try to aim to be at the, at the level of the zone? Generally, like, you end up being around three levels behind. Uh, okay. One of the hardest things with all the new changes to racing is uh, you have to over-level a little bit at the end of Act 2 and start of Act 3. Because with the removal of things in the sewers, it's very easy to get too under-leveled to the point where you're not getting experience. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see if um, Dead and Doom can pull off some of his uh, sick gameplay skills that he can uh, sometimes uh, manage to muster if he doesn't get uh, tilted too much. And, uh, but it can't be easy, you know, having the whole world uh, looking at you, having that pressure, those expectations from people. And he has been doing really, really well in, uh, in past races. The, I think the most recent race I saw him in was the race yesterday where titled something like uh, three pros versus one noob. Yeah. And um, then Doom being the runner of the pro team doing an exceptional job and uh, setting up those portals, getting his teammates in, and they actually managed to uh, to take it home, uh, not only to Dead and Doom, of course, but uh, to the entire uh, team. Yeah, that's insane. That just like shows how much like there actually is. Not just it's not all about care. Absolutely, it was it was looking a little um, one sided at one point, but uh, those those occasional or few deaths on uh, Kitava definitely uh, made it possible. Very so impressive. right now we're having a pretty quiet lead. So who who are your favorites? What do you how, what are your predictions for this race? Oh, I think uh, Nuki is uh, going to be my favorite here, being another Danish person. Um, but I am very curious about how Freak is going to uh, to handle it too, just because I don't know that much about him. I think. If I have to be realistic, then it's probably going to be Dead and Doom. But the thing is, we also have the Uber Elite, and I've watched a few of the races he's been in, and he's consistently, consistently always performing uh, well. And the last time, he was somewhat slower than the others, but because of uh, how solid he was playing, how steady he was playing, he actually managed to... Uh, I think it was the second place he got in, uh, in one of the Kitava kill races. Yeah, very, very solid, and usually he doesn't have many deaths. Mm -hmm. um, well, probably I would say he would like need to work on his being a little bit like skipping things. Like, I'd say he kills okay. too much things. Okay. Of course, you see Dead and Doom playing, you'll see him just leap something past everything and be like, I don't need XP, there's a <laughs> kill to be had. Absolutely. How do you uh, typically approach then? Like, obviously, it's a, it's a balance, but... Well, we yeah, can... it's definitely a balance. I'll end up, I'm trying to copy Dead and Doom more and more because you want to learn from other people who are really good. And uh, so I've been working on leap slamming more and stuff like that. And uh, what a lot of players do is they'll panic at a boss fight or not take enough uh, time. So for example, in this race, like right before his arrow, you really want to take one minute, make sure you have everything you want, like all the damage mitigation, your totem, like, for example, uh, people in past races haven't always brought Enduring Cry, which is huge in this sorrow fight. So things like that are very, very big to just take a breather, calm down, and then make sure you aren't pianoing your flasks and wasting them. Because mm -hmm. that happens a lot. It's very easy to panic in the... So being the uh, experienced racer that you are, you know the, uh, the mentality and the mindset of uh, what it takes here. What do you think is going through the heads of the, the players right now? 
But say Freak is thinking, oh my god, look at that pack size. I'm getting absolutely overwhelmed. How that is I'm, actually amazing. Why don't I have melee splash? So uh, <laughs> then Doom is probably thinking, that is a big go. Why don't I have melee splash? Like I'd, I'd say like that's a very common thing right now, that this is horrible. They're not enjoying it because melee splash needs to be level four for this race. But uh, yeah, I, we're going to see a melee splash pickup for Den Doom now. And we'll see we'll see a huge gameplay change in how he plays, and he'll be able to take down packs very fast. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, I think Nuvi will manage to uh, to pull through. Uh, to he had some, I'm not sure if we could call it luck, but uh, he didn't have good luck the last uh, race, at least not near the end, uh, dying a few times to Kitama when mm -hmm. he went uh, up against it. Uh, but performing very, very uh, well before that. I think he even managed to find himself a gold rim, and that takes skill. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not everyone has what it takes. But, yeah, um, I mean, you can see Nugi is still wearing his gold rim in real life, so got a bit of an advantage there. And uh, Havoc, I'm just going to ask you real quick here. Could you do me a favor and send the account name of uh, each uh, player in the uh, Discord? Sorry about that. And uh, we have Uber Elite picking up a completely useless Diamond Shrine down here. <laughs> not um, well. It's not a lot good. better than the mobs having it. That uh, that is a good point. Now, so far on ones, we can see that nobody, at least equipped, has a uh, blue red at all. But we do have some blue, blue, blue ones. Um, three linked ones from both Freak and Uber. So we might see a Chrome use pretty early on, actually. Like, if they can get a blue, blue, red, so you later can have melee splash, um, summon raging spirits, and minion damage, that would be absolutely huge. Yeah, minion damage would be the third priority, I'd say. And they will be swapping out that melee splash for the Brutus uh, kill or for the uh, boss kills. Yeah, that's another interesting thing. We'll see if the players have remembered to bring Ooh, some more Brutus. We're going very low down there. Them Doom already picking up the first trial as well, which is very nice. Although he only has small flasks, so he's got to be very careful of not getting hit and he will have to use his decoy a lot. Whereas both Nugi and Freak have picked up large life flasks, so the Brutus fight should be easy. I'll be very, very surprised if anyone dies. What, uh, what strategy do you like here? Do you think they should pick up the trials as they go, or would you uh, wait until later? I usually always skip the lower prism one because you don't have a movement ability at this point. And I feel like a movement ability makes the trial so much faster. Like, you usually don't end up getting stuck in traps. Mm -hmm. And this one is always... Uh, I've never had a problem having it close to the waypoint. If you okay. do encounter it on the way, like, if you run into it, you might as well. But I would definitely not, like, seek it out at all at this point. All right. I uh, When I was participating in the uh, past Desara race, I, uh, against my com competitors, I actually feel like I gained a, a small advantage by picking them up on the way, um, but I, I guess uh, I guess it depends because you will be able to rush faster into the end game, get better gear, and well, do it easier afterwards. But yeah, most of the trials are on the way and uh, not not I, too hard to find as long as you know the layout. I think an important one to pick up, which I'm definitely expecting Nugi to do, is the uh, crypt one early on. A lot of people are used to like never going to crypt, obviously, in a race, and they want to get the uh, first one to get to Val, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see which of the players actually go for the crypt one. Like The reason you want to go for the crypt is because, A, you have to go there anyway, and it's a very long route. So killing things on the way there is very advantageous because you're going to be regenerating fast charges. However, if you're coming back when you're like level 30, 32, you're not going to get any experience here, but you still have to kill around the same amount of mobs. Yeah, basically making your time less efficient. That's what Rice did in uh, the race against you, and he definitely seemed to lose uh, a minute or two mm -hmm. uh, on that. And Den and Doom taking some damage there, getting the trial, and I think Nuki is on his way to the first Brutus kill here. So, um, Nugi is running for the first one. We have poll results saying Dead and Doom is voted the favorite by 41% chance to win. However, it's not as lopsided as you think, because Uber Elite is also voted 36% chance, only 5% less. And then Nugi at 17 and Freak at 6, being the underdog. 
And I guess uh, Nuki is feeling uh, comfortable. He's not picked up an armor plate against uh, Brutus here. We can see that Decoy Totem is just taking a good pounding, and uh, he looks very safer. With that large, there's basically no way he can die. That was a very smooth kill. And he gets rare steel grooves. Maybe you could uh, talk a little about that, uh, Sis. What are these uh, loot felders? Or why are these special for these races? And do you use one specifically for racing too? Yeah, mine's trash though. But, okay. uh, oh, wow, free getting super stuck here. But um, something you'll see in major or like most players' loot filters is that boots are highlighted. Like you really want to get movement speed, especially in this one, because you're not going to have like a, uh, you're not going to see leap slamming here. It's going to be ones for quite a while while they're using plus one ones. Uh, will be interesting to see if anyone tries to change to a plus one scepter just to get like a some sort of leap slam early on. That wouldn't be surprising if Dead and Doom did. But um, you also want to look out for like link colors. So you'll have like uh, anything that's like important to the race will be like super highlighted. Whereas gem cutter, prism, stuff like that will maybe even be hidden. Um, wisdom scrolls, whetstones, armor scraps, everything like that will be like super noticeable. I think on New Year's filter, they're like pure white and like very hard not to see. We have um, Dead and Doom going up against uh, Brutus now here. He only has two minor life flasks, small life flasks. Um, having to be a little careful here. Still, Freak is the only one with a death and the only one with a penalty so far. And Dead and Doom getting Brutus down here. SRS is a fairly, fairly easy and efficient skill to handling uh, Brutus, in my opinion. Yeah, I think we're even going to see some smooth Zaro kills here. Um, mm. Unlike a lot of the... Uh, well, we can check in a second how bad love is today, but uh, unlike the I've other already, kills... Uh, I've already checked, and it's actually an, an amazing lab today. Super easy. He has uh, fonts and portals. Um, so as long as they just have a bit of elemental resist, that uh, those fonts are not going to do too much uh, against them. Um, and the portals, of course, well, it's just additional minions and it can even be a, a benefit sometimes as it helps you refill your flasks by killing them that said with srs there might be a few awkward targeting uh, situations where you uh, you're not being wholly efficient with the srs damage well the problem with the portals is that you can end up getting us uh, like the srs can go target badly and stuff like that they're definitely exactly. going to be uh, killing the uh, exactly. portals However, I actually think this isn't going to be that much about uh, the Zaro. Like I don't like in past races, we've seen a lot of players struggle with the Zaro. We I think here it's going to be the first person that gets and kills it. Yes, I think so too. So it's very much about being like with many races, but being the fastest here to reach a certain type of content. It may not be the level or the power of the character that will make the uh, the biggest difference here, just because of the Zaro buffs today. I think we can see some very under-level kills here as well. I, I'm going to assume that players are going to be watching the level of their SRS very carefully, more importantly than, than their mm -hmm. own level, and uh, as soon as they get like a decent level on SRS, they'll be going in. Uh, do we see any links so far? And I can see that uh, the Uber Elite has a free blue wand, but he's, I don't think he has, the, has it linked yet with anything. Oh, actually, Dead and Doom does Dead have Doom, a yeah. plus one fire gems with melee splash, summon raging spirits, and minion damage already. Very nice. So that is crazy good. He is. Uh, so he's does Nuki. He's some traction here. Um, Nuki does sound yeah. the same, yeah. The bottom two does not. And they're just and finishing yeah. off their uh, Brutus kills now, basically at the same time. Do you think this will be so far? Do you think this will be a race between uh, Nuki and and Dead and Doom now? No, I mean it's so far? early on. Like anyone can catch up, anyone can fuck up at this point, and it's very easy. Just one death, especially with SRS, we can like they're they're gonna be. I don't I don't see anyone picking up life nodes this early. I think they're gonna be a little greedy with their damage, and definitely expecting a couple of deaths while they're running around. Absolutely. Life nodes in itself should have less value to in this race since they can use that decoy totem, right? Just want to make sure they can kill him fast enough while, of course, making sure they cannot or try not to be one shotted against the sorrow. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue today with the buffs that he has. I can see Nuki going 
I assume he went back for a trial there. Yeah. Did, yeah. So now, now that he has the flame dodge, you can see how quickly he's like uh, doing the trial and only getting stuck twice versus some of the earlier people were getting stuck three, even four times. Um, mm. So you save a lot of time by having a movement ability. It's even better with Sleep Slam. So I think that and is it, all of them having the first trial. Now. Do any of the players have uh, movement speed boots yet? I'm not seeing anything on uh, Uber Lead and Dead and Doom. And it doesn't no. seem like they Freak's have no. boots are actually his blue, blue, red. So they do all have the uh, blue, blue, red, I think. Oh, maybe Uber Elite does not. No, it really only has Summon Raging Spirits and Melee Splash. So he's at uh, quite the disadvantage both on damage and uh, clear speed here. And uh, Nuki using the bareback method, just having bare feet. And what are we using two coral rings to? He has a lot of live heat. Uh, we have them doing being at a similar level 216, 17 are many of them at, whereas Freak is only at a 178 right now. Very surprised that Nuki does not have anything in his offhand. He could pick up a wand for a little extra cast speed bonus, mm -hmm. kill wheel bonus. Um, we do have two Quicksilvers, though. Oh, that is very, very big. Neither Especially of them are transmuted. Uh, can't leap slam. Oh, well, I guess you can leap slam, but uh, that would yeah, you, much sense. you'd have to get a scepter. Ooh, yeah. and a uh, muttering greed pick up for Nuki here, although he has to be careful. Ooh, Nuki going very low there, oh, and he's oh. logging out to avoid oh, a potential death. That is that's still a pretty big penalty. Still going to be losing 30, 40 seconds worth of actual time to that. Very, uh, very close one there. Where did he, um, let's see, he was in Mareil's caverns. He does have the waypoint. I'm not sure how far he was in, if he was in, actually in uh, zone 2. But he does have some that's way to run there, losing some seconds. Yeah, and you can see a lot of these players, like, this is a very, very, very nice thing to watch when you're watching the uh, pro teams, and they're all using their flame dash to kill things as well, and not mm. just for movement. Making sure to position themselves correct. I, I mostly notice that when they're going up against the bosses, for instance. We're going to see that on uh, Reveil here, constantly making sure there is as much damage up as possible all the time. And uh, we're currently at a timer of uh, close to 24 minutes here. And so it's it's definitely a noticeable that it isn't the typical melee setup you're seeing the players use here, being uh, being some minutes behind the typical Merveil kill. Yeah, it's actually pretty big. Like earlier on, I think uh, Rise QT has the record for the fastest Merveil, mm -hmm. and that was like 18 or something. 18 minutes, yeah, or 1840, I think it was. Very very good. Yeah, that's already like 24 minutes, and uh, we do not have any players have Merveil yet. And I think I saw that Freak decided to wear an, an, a chest piece right now, not worrying too much about his uh, movement speed penalty. It's actually a very nice chest as well. It's got life and cold resist on it, so it'll be help if you get it'll help if you get caught out by Marvel, uh the ice beam and stuff like that. It'll take a lot less damage. Like any cold resist early on is pretty huge. Mm -hmm. So if you don't find the uh, the flasks, if you don't get lucky in the drop, how much of an effort? do you as is put in to upgrading them by the vendor? Mm, it depends. Like if I'm, it depends how out leveled you are. If you're 18, you're seeing a level six plus, then you will go buy one for three wisdoms. Oh. Like at that point, you have so many. We see a very fast Marvel here by Dead and Doom. Absolutely. Getting swarmed easy so far. Going into phase two now. But that's the thing. Once you get the SRS up and running with the plus fire and um, a melee splash, then things are things are looking uh, pretty solid for you. It'll be interesting which of the players will remember to grab stuff like Orb of Storms for the uh, Elemental Equilibrium. Now it will be huge for single target. Yeah, good points. I, di I didn't even think about that. Is that a common uh, racing strategy? Well, we usually don't race with SRS. So I guess I've seen. I think I've seen Rice race with it. Yeah, I guess. But yeah, I'd say definitely when you stuff for single target. All right. I wanna, what well, I want to see is very, like very a... Short behind him. And yeah, my rail going down. Getting a yellow wand there. Give him some cast speed, that would be good. That's basically the only thing you want to once right now. Finally getting his uh, second weapon. He doesn't and, equip uh, it. We have... I oh, 
Is it Uber Elite or is it Freak that is the furthest behind here? Well, you got to remember that Freak has the two minute penalty as well already, so he is quite behind. Um, Both of them are probably going to be there. They're like so in sync. I wonder if they're sitting on Discord like, are you ready? Okay, let's go to the next zone because they are like (laughs) back to back very close to each other. That would make absolutely sense, yeah. In a, in a race, they decide <laughs> to do it the gentleman way and and share the uh, the win or the loss here. So Nugi is the first person to enter here. Well, actually, with the timer, it's pretty much the exact same time as the Doom. Sorry, come again. They're basically entering at exactly the same mm-hmm. time. So very very close here. And we're gonna. See Merveil coming up for Freak in just a minute. I think Kevin of Anger just entered by uh, the Uber Elites, being a little slower than the other people here uh, in the beginning, but looking very, very confident. And if you guys notice it, if you look very closely, you'll notice that uh, the SRS or the Skulls, they actually look exactly like uh, Uber Elite without hair. Um, I think there's something to be gained from, uh, from that. You can himself. see that Uber Elite right. is the only player to have Orbis Storms already. So I, I'm not sure if he's picked up EE on the skill trail already, but we'll see that on the Merveil kill. Yes. Yeah, I'm wondering if the other people will be picking it up at all. The damage. Freak is up against Merveil now. So we'll probably see another very smooth kill. I think he has the same links as the others did. So yeah, going down very fast. What do you think will be the biggest challenge in this race for for these participants with this setup? Just balancing how underleveled you are, I think. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like we'll, we'll see quite an underleveled Zaro, and it would be interesting to see if people get too greedy. I or... think when I did the race, I went in around level 26, and that definitely felt dangerous uh, that day. But looking at the past races, that seems to be... Fairly common, 26, 28. And uh, the Asaro zone is 33, as far as I remember, yeah. or 32. I went in at 25 just to get an axe. Okay. Yeah, and you okay, did that. Here we Super have easy. Uber Elite going up against it, and he has a three link now as well. He does not have it plus three, though, so he has not been lucky enough to get that. So we'll probably see a slower kill then. And um, no orb of storm scoring now, so I'm guessing he does not have AA. Do you think uh, they will be uh, attempting to seek out some of the Dark Shrines? I know there is at least one or two of the Dark Shrines on the way. I know you did that in the past race. Well, I actually did it on accident. Because <laughs> I thought that was the same area as the one to shut down Gargoyles. Oh, I see. I see. So you were trying to get the item that uh, yeah, automatically. Yeah, I was like, oh, there's one. a dark shrine here. I might as well. See, New Year actually being one. a pretty duration really early, too. Yeah, the massive was pretty nice. Uh, Nugi killing uh, Caleb Headstaver, or whatever his name is, the uh, unique zone boss. Would you ever do that? S- spend time yeah, on the Yeah, usually zone there's like a blue pack around him anyway. So you hit a couple of times on the blue pack and then like two more to finish him off. And he's got a decent like rarity bonus. Okay. So you might as well, especially if you haven't picked up like anything to sunder with. I usually do it then. And we just see that uh, Uber Elite uh, getting Merveil down now as the last person, but well, in time, probably being a little ahead of uh, Freak still. And, uh, yeah, definitely. I, I... I'd say I'd say Uber Elite is around a minute ahead of Freak currently, but uh, that could all change very easily. It would be cool to see someone going down to Fidelitas, actually. He has a lot of burst damage. When you get to uh, Act 2, uh, says, what's your typical uh, way of approaching that? What zone do you go to first? I always go for Chamber of Sins, and then okay. you do... I've started doing Crypt after Chamber of Sins sometimes, actually. It's been pretty good XP. Um, okay. You can also run straight to uh, the Western Forest as well, pick up the weapon there. But I, I feel like picking up Crypt early on is really nice. Crypt is a uh, level... What level is that? Uh, Slightly higher than the other ones. It's at the level of Broken yeah, Bridge. We'll check or right like now. Oh, I can't check. I don't have it. Okay. Huh. I think it's 18. Yeah, that makes sense. 
I've been uh, I've been trying uh, looking at the map, and uh, it looks like if you just want to be in the right zone at the right time, uh, you can also effectively first run either west or east, and then when you once you have the waypoint in each zone, you can go back before you actually complete any of the constant and take the other way um, to try and stay as much in range of the uh, of the constants. Yeah, like it's just so scary getting under leveled enough to the point where you're not getting full XP, and it's like easy to panic and not be sure exactly where you should be and stuff like that. And you're you're not going to stop and try to calculate it unless you know it by heart. And uh, dead on Doom getting the um, Ice Nova Shrine up there, effectively slowing down and dealing some extra damage here, allowing him to go through the uh, the constant a little faster and a little safer. And he's going into the, uh, I guess this is his second. Trial of Ascendancy, uh, going for it straight away. Yeah, I think we'll see every single player go for this one. I'll be very surprised. Oh, Dead and Doom actually oh, dying wow. to traps. Dying to a trap. I was not expecting that. That is huge. What a turn of events right there. Wow, he must that... not be happy right now. Oh, I can feel the toxicity seething below the surface right now. That is not good for Dead and Doom. Now he is, is very angry. Wow. Um, something uh, worth looking at at all the players as well is how often their flame dash is not on uh, three charges. Like the majority of them will have, like especially if you're watching Dead and Doom, um, you can see so often that he has no charges or one charge on his flame dash. Very very nice at like having an effective use of it, both for damage and like increasing their speed. And what would be uh, the priority um, after they kill the Weaver? Are they are they simply going to pick up faster casting for? I think we're going to see kills here. I would be very very surprised to see Elyria picked up, and I'll be very surprised to see. I'd be very surprised to see Creighton. I'm expecting all of them to kill all the bandits. Yes, that would make sense in uh, with this setup here. We've seen a lot of Alira pickups on, on the Sunder build, melee builds, so you can sustain that mana, get a bit of persist and so forth, even some uh, Kraden kills. But this time around, it's not that much to be gained by going for the other ones. Very smooth kill, and even though he had that death, they like basically kill it at the same time, although obviously Dead and Doom is two minutes behind. Nuki being in the uh, effective lead right now. Yeah, looking very solid right now. He's got his items and uh, he's just trucking away. Yeah, Nuki, uh, Nuki actually lives like one hour away from me with both uh, being uh, Danish people. I've never had the pleasure of uh, meeting him uh, yet. Wow, that is very close. He is in a, a well-known organization here that makes me a little scared in, in uh, Denmark, like uh, Hipsters United. And they have been known to turn people into vegans. So I'm trying to stay oh, well, yeah, now no, at some away. distance. That's just never worth it, right? Don't want to risk that. And uh, we have Dead and Doom going into the Weaver's Chambers now. And I assume they will be picking up faster casting after this so that uh, they can use it for their Flame Dash. That's yeah, I don't think we'll see any other pickup this early. Like, we don't have a four link. They pretty much have all the gems they want right now. Um, might see Arctic Armor picked up, actually. Yeah, I guess that would be the one that would make uh, the most sense for them here, if they're willing to reserve any of their, of their mana. And what yeah, like the race they... is too short, so I don't think we're going to see any generosity and stuff like that. There's, I think we're, yeah, there's no way. And Especially with like the lab being so safe like it is today. It looks like everyone but free has that plus one to fire uh, gems want, giving them a, a pretty significant uh, benefit here over their counterpart. Oh wow! And here we can see Nugi going for the crypt already. Exactly, I this is what I was expecting, and Nugi was coming not in my race as well, so. Pretty much as expected here. We'll see what other players go for the crypt. Oh, I yeah, think uh, Uber Elite is in crypt too. Uber Elite is definitely moving towards the crypt. He's in the Thal Shrine right now. Yeah. And uh, Freak is just on his way into the Chamber of Sins, being a little behind here. Uh, but he must have done something else. I, I'm a little surprised to see him going there. 
now. He could have been running in the other direction to pick up the uh, the waypoint first, and then going back and into the uh, chamber of sins, I guess. Then Doom have the uh, kill on Weaver as the uh, as the first person. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Dun Doom, who is pretty much regarded as the best racer at the time, if he will drop Crypt or go for it. Definitely something I would uh, be surprised if he dropped. It looks like he's on his way to uh, Creighton now. And uh, as you said, we're most likely going to see a kill on that too. Yeah, I, I will be, I'll be exclaim, exclamation marking if there is uh, any helping of Bandit. Especially considering that if he wanted to help Creighton, he probably would have gone for Oak first to kill him. Yeah, for sure. For sure. There will, be, uh, there will definitely not be any Bandit uh, helping. So uh, we can see Uber Lead is already making his way through the crypt. So is Nugi, and they're getting really, really decent XP. Uber Lead picking up an Artisan Shrine and uh, already finding the trial. I think can't see. Oh, and and they're both on the trial, so they're basically at the exact same spot right now. So people really uh, want to try being efficient with the transmutes and early game currency when doing these races. Uh, it says, how do you go about making? Uh, making the most of these so you can make sure you can buy your skill gems and you get the necessary pick up all the rares and try to be like remembering to vendor every time you're in town so you pick up the rares and you actually um, you just sell them unidentified then correct no usually i do them because you need alterations more than transmutes you're going to find quite a lot of raw transmutes all right okay we're seeing the first uh Creighton kill going down here from dead and doom now it'll be interesting to see where he goes well, he already were in the Western Forest, but I'm not sure if he actually killed Alira or if he just went straight for the Weaver's Chambers. He still has to do the Fell Shrine. I'm not sure if he just... It looks like he may be helping Alira. He's going yeah. for the Wetlands now. Well, he could help her for the Resistance stuff, but yeah. I, I don't feel like that's worth it at all. And the you're not going to need the Mana Region either. So we'll be very surprised. I guess a bit of resist could be nice against the fonts, but it's so minor compared to the two skill points. Yeah, definitely, because he has Decoy Totem. It's going to be pretty decent level by the time he gets there. I think he should be able to permanent Decoy Totem on his arrow. Yeah, pretty much. Like One of the powerful things about SRS is it lets you have so much time to run around and just focus on staying alive. So it makes it a lot smoother fight than, for example, being like under level with Cleave or Molten Strike, where you're standing and being at completely the mercy of his arrow and how much damage he's doing to you. At this point, you can just run around and you can deal damage still. Absolutely. And uh, so we're now running, we're running into help. Weaver, and uh, then Doom is killing. Oak. Killing. Okay. So I guess we'll see. He he may simply. Um... He may run back and, and go for Lyra. I don't think we saw an Lyra kill, so... No, I don't think so either. We were taking a lot of damage. The SRS are so effective against bosses here. This is Did... not going to be the worst setup. I wonder what happened to Freak here. He's rerunning. That does seem a little... Um... That's Maybe he had to run back choice. for the trial. I didn't actually uh, I didn't actually catch that. So currently we have uh, one death from Dead and Doom and one death from Freak. I'm guessing you just like re remembered about the trial. Yeah, I guess. And uh, we're gonna see Nuki. Where's where's Nuki? He's on his way to he's going back to the line eyes watch right now. What is he going for here? It says why is he going back? Well, he could pick up like chance to bleed or something, but I think he has one in his inventory. Let's see. He's picking up oh flash offering. Flash offering. Okay. And I think um the Uber Elite is the only player still with Orb of Storms, which I think will be actually huge for him. The question is like SRS already deals so much damage. Do you think those few seconds are going to make the difference? Oh, definitely, especially in like the Zaro fight and like Val stuff like that. EE will be huge in those longer fights. Mm -hmm. I love seeing like the subtle differences between all the racers. Like right now, we have Dead and Doom being the only person to pick up Arctic Armor. That'll definitely be nice later on. And he does help Alira. 
he does want that flat uh, mana region help sustain a bit, uh, but probably mostly for the resists. Yeah, the resist will come in handy, especially in uh, like the Act 2 sewers and stuff like that, where if you haven't picked up a Lightning Cold Ring, stuff like that, or two stones, then the uh, discharges can instantly one-shot you. Oh wow, Nugi actually finding a limb split. However, <laughs> that is of no use to him. That is uh, probably pick it up for shards, though. This is a terrible SRS weapon. What an amazing weapon in any other circumstance. That's crazy bad luck. He could have picked it up and used it for calling. Hmm. <laughs> mm. With what though? Will it leave some? I guess. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Does it have calling? Yeah. I believe it has calling strike. Yeah, I thought it was only the upgraded one, but I think you're right. And uh, the only person we're still seeing wearing an armor is uh, Freak down in the bottom right. When when is a uh, normal time you start picking up that armor? When do you want to? Uh, well, to it's sort of different. I usually always raise duelist, so level eight, and I'm armor for the rest of the game. But uh, when I whenever I was playing Templar for races and stuff like 20, 15 to twenty somewhere, probably around mm -hmm. twenty. And so for you guys who don't know, uh, the reason Sis would pick up Yama that early for the uh, duelist that's because there's a notable. Uh, very close to the duelist start that basically negates the movement speed penalty. Um, it's actually really big early on because getting like a decent amount of evasion makes you like take so few hits. Like, yeah, it's just very, very tanky. But you do get a movement penalty for having a chest on, so that's why you see the other racers are not wearing one. And it provides some attack speed at the same time and such. Very powerful and notable to get early on. Yeah, it's big. And uh, we just saw the, I guess this would be the last Weaver Kill uh, by Freak here. Or it could be the Uber Elite. We're seeing him moving into the Western Forest now. I'm not sure if I've seen him kill uh, the Weaver yet. But we're having a Dead and Doom going into um, the Trap Zone now. Getting his uh, second... That's still at a pretty good level, because really... right now he's still getting XP for it. So definitely a good choice for him to do that now, I think. I think everyone except Freak has the Crypt Trial. Yes, that sounds about right. And Nugi uh, is running around looking for Oak here, probably killing him. And we saw that Dead and Doom just being the first person to enter the Vol Ruins now. And Sis, is there? I've, I've never figured it out, this out. Is there a method to moving f uh, efficiently through this zone? I hate this place. Well, there's a couple of, it's, I don't really know any, like, specific signs. Like, for example, in, uh, like, the old warehouses, you could see, like, their corpses lying outside the path you want to go. I don't know of anything like that for it. But there are, like, sort of, like, uh, like layouts that you can tell. So you can see Dendum is running straight for it now. As far as I know, one of them is sort of like a horseshoe. Um, yep. And a couple of them, uh, like, just bend in, like, ways that you just get used to it. It's very, a couple of layouts are sort of hard to explain to people. You just sort of like know or feel it just based on like having run it so many times. So as I said, like one of them bends around in like a horseshoe and then ends behind where you entered. Yeah, so I guess without even thinking too much about it, sometimes there's just this intuitive uh, feeling that tells you uh, where you need to go. There are yeah, lots of it... zones though with lots of hints. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if there's any in this one here. There probably is if you really put in some effort to try and learn the um, the layout. Yeah, you got to remember, a lot of these racers have run this so many times that it's like, you see Dead and Doom run straight through it there without getting any dead ends. Whereas uh, if you're a new player, I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> have gotten stuck in this zone and then just be like, you know what? This must be bugged. There's no entrance here. And that's when you see them quitting Path of Exile, just yeah. after they open the skill tree. And... We seeing a Kraten kill down here by Freak now, and it, I guess uh, Uber Elite did not have the Weaver kill yet. He's moving in now, and uh, wow, Dead and Doom is, is crazy just fast. rushing through this crazy fast. Really want to get very very fast. He's also level nineteen compared to second highest. So I think Nugi has just dinged level eighteen. I think Nugi's only level seventeen. Or he is only level 17. At the I feel like time. to make it fair on the other players in races, sometimes Dead and Doom should just have like an anchor on his left arm, something like that. 
a little bit too crazy sometimes. Then Doom do definitely have those teenage skills, and that ooh, that got dangerous. Oh my that god! Taking a lot of damage. This the is a very dangerous a zone. There. That. Could have gone very wrong. He does have the unique zone boss on him. He does have uh, devours on him. There's an yeah, exile to everyone is out to get him. Get the teenage boy wonder. They yell, get the what? rascal. And a chest. Let's see if he opens it. Now that, that I want to see him open it. Do it. Okay. Yeah. I'm willing to remove okay. two minutes for, for him. <laughs> um, and he's even. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's good. He has a flame dash there. That yes, would have been interesting. Good save. Good save. Well, he wants to go back for that exile, though. And there is a couple of good drops there. And uh, I, the thing about an exile is that it always drops a full item set. And, yeah, a, good and a lot of it will be rare. It's got a massive yeah. bonus. I think it's got a 2,500 uh, increased rarity bonus. We just saw uh, Nuki touching the ball in um, the, uh, well, that place, and he's going into the northern uh, forest now. He's, he's. Uh, I, I guess that Nuki might actually effectively be in the lead. Yeah, yeah, I'd say Nuki is still in the lead. Um, it's actually very interesting to see that Nuki has a shield, which also has a movement speed penalty. I think of three percent. Yeah, opting out uh, or opting into using a shield instead of a second wand. It does Same have with, uh, a the bit Uber of really life. Now. It also have plus one to level of sucked and melee gems, but I'm not sure what he's trying to gain. Uh, the uh, Uber Elite Shield actually has the 3% movement speed bonus. So as far as I know, it still has the implicit penalty, so I think it just adds up to zero. Probably negates it, yeah. Uh, or did they remove that for certain shields? Maybe. Well, you can sure see maybe that. he does have another shield in his inventory. And he also helps Alira. Wow, I'm very surprised to see the helping Alira. I guess it will help like early on, like Act Three and stuff like that. But uh, I don't think they really need it for Zaro. Where are uh, these players? All them all being Cyan, as far as I can see. Where where do you expect them to go in the skill tree? I'm guessing they'll go after Witch just for like even more damage. I don't think they're gonna like. T I, I think they'll take Constitution of the Cyan Life Wheel just because it's like so beefy. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of life there, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think they will end up in the witch tree. Is it unrealistic to imagine they would pick up um, Mind Over Matter now that they've picked Alira? No, I guess. I guess Mind Over Matter could be a big pickup. I just don't think they'll need that much tank with the decoy totem. Like, decoy is insanely powerful. Mm -hmm. You can see the race without a decoy. Yeah, with, with him not being that dangerous today, that's, that almost seems like overkill, where you could have gone for for more damage. And uh, what, where is Freak? Freak is on his way to... He doesn't know he's going back to the wetlands and into the... Um, he's destroying the tree roots and entering the Vault Ruins now. Uh, the Uber Elite going up against Creighton down here, showing who's boss, and uh, Nuki still being in the Northern Forest, and we're having uh, Dead and Doom being the first person to enter the Ancient Pyramid. We're going to see... Uh, very, very fun. Um, the way this layout works is it's usually sort of the opposite way of the entrance. Um, where probably around 10, 15% of the time, it'll be like either straight left or straight right. But usually a safe bet is just trying to crisscross or go straight Ooh. across. And he gets an acceleration try in here. What a pickup. Wow. Yeah, that, that, that was what he needed right now. He just needed a little speed boost because he wasn't <laughs> fast enough already. He wasn't fast enough. Very nice. And he is, uh, it looks like uh, he is level 21, Nuki level 19, Uber level 17, and Freak being level 17. So not only is he like ahead progress wise, but he's actually quite a lot ahead in uh, levels. levels. Wow. Pretty impressive. Then Doom being, yeah, being four levels ahead than the uh, than Freak and Uber lead. It's crazy. Nuki is, however, keeping very nice pace. Uh, I gotta remember that Nuyi knows that Dead and Doom has the penalty, so he's playing it a little bit safer, um, making sure he doesn't like rush too much, and you can see him like, not taking time to kill the bears here, actually, because they have a lot of life. Yeah, I, I assume then, uh, do you not consider that uh, worth it in general, uh, says 
Do you just simply well, just skip them? no, like golems and bears, you can avoid quite a lot. Because in, sometimes, like, lower HP mobs can take one hit, whereas the mm -hmm. bears, you can take, like, four to six sometimes. Okay. It is worth mentioning, though, that uh, the lower HP mobs, typically, like, the monkeys and such, they also only give half experience of a, of a typical they normal They do, mob. however, give the same amount of fast starters. Good points. And we're seeing, guys, very, very nice damage very from Dead fast. and Doom. Taking down Vol over Soul very, very easily. He needs see, him to come up one more time. You see, Nugi also has Orb of Storms now, so I'm expecting a faster kill from Nugi. Has he picked up um, Elemental Equilibrium? We can't see that yet. I guess we'll, we'll be able to tell in just a sec. I can and, try to uh, snipe their profiles. Uber Elite just... Running around, flirting with Alira, also deciding to help Alira. I think we've seen everyone uh, uh, side with Alira now, haven't we? Apparently, I'm terrible at guessing. I I would have thought uh, the skill point made made more sense here, but I guess maybe they know something we don't. Right. So Nugi does have EE. Okay, we're gonna see a very efficient kill here. I'm he just guessing. accidentally. Oh, that is bang. frustrating. <laughs> You do not have have the luxu luxury of being able to make these kinds of mistakes when you're going up against uh, these players here. Yeah, this could yeah. potentially be oh. very, very close. The Uber Elite does actually not currently have HE. I'm very, very surprised that he hasn't picked it up. That is surprising when he did decide he was the first person to pick up Over Storms. Well, he might just pick it up right before Val. I, I'll be, I'm expecting him to pick it up before Val. Yeah, him being level 18 now, Dead and Doom being level 22, 19 for Nuki, and um, 18 for Freak. And we have the, uh, the first person to enter the uh, slums now, being Dead and Doom, of course. He will have to make up for that death by being extra fast. Otherwise, yeah, he will have a usually not a problem here. for Dead and Doom. Apparently, he finishes real quickly. <laughs> I've heard that rumor too. Now, um, I think we're gonna. S I, I I think we'll see an an earlier Isaro kill than than what I initially thought. I think I think this is a pretty efficient run right now, especially from Dead and Doom. We could see an a one thirty, perhaps. Yeah, I I think like we'll see so much being under level. Then again, the decoy totem is super OP. Right now, we can see that the doom is already in the witch tree, about to pick up Lord of the Dead as well. What will be interesting to see if they go past that and go all the way up to death attunement. That's sort of like all the minion nodes you have. I'm not assuming anyone will take Heart of the Flock, but they are, as you said, right next to Mind or Matter, and they don't have anything. Uh, to reserve for now, I think we're going to see Hatred being picked up later, though. Yes, possibly. If they have the... Um, they'll have to balance it a bit with uh, Dexterity, but I assume they uh, have already accounted for that. And uh, Oh, that's how fast Nugi's kill it. Yeah, there you go. That EE is really <laughs> coming into handy. Just that, troll, that troll of all of us all just disappearing with one HP left. Having to wait for it, and we'll probably not see a lockout, but a, tor a portal back, and then going into uh, Act Three. Nugi checking for items real quick before going uh, back, selling some stuff. Now, something that's good about hatred compared to something like anger is that it does not add damage to your spells. So, say you're using Orb of Storms to Elemental Equilibrium. Uh, what hatred does is it adds your physical damage as cold damage. Seeing as Orbit Storms has no physical damage, it'll still be a pure lightning. So you can still EE with your lightning, while your SRS will be fire and cold damage. And it's just a, a very, very efficient way of scaling the damage in general for SRS. Yeah, I believe hatred in most cases take priority over anger, even, even if you exclude that. I could be wrong on that, though. Uh, no, SRS doing 50% right. fire and 50% uh, uh, physical. Yeah, probably depends how you scale them. I don't play minion builds a lot myself, but uh, I think you're right. So we see uh, Uberlead is falling a little bit behind here, although he's still probably ahead of Freak with that death. 
uh, as always, playing it um, safe and steady and killing a lot. They're actually like doing really well on levels and stuff. No one's really far behind yet. I was just looking at um, their gear, and one thing that really, really shows here is that neither Freak nor the Uber Elite has movement speed boots. And they are the first, furthest behind, too. Yeah, like it definitely adds up in a race like this where you're running so much more. And wow, then Doom dropping a little low to that yeah. fire drop there. <laughs> not, not enjoying the trap cons in th that much. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we see uh, if anyone dies to traps in the lab. That would be pretty cool. That would be very cool. I think, though, it, it feels like after 3.0 that the traps in normal lab, uh, it, they're fairly forgiving, right? Yeah, it's, that's it's true. It's not as bad as it used to be. It's pretty much just the Asaro fight that is the thing in there, unlike on the higher difficulties. Yeah. We can see Dead and Doom being the first person to kill Piety here, Bane of Rise QT, and he is also wearing a three-link chest, and he has a three-link helmet as well. So he's been pretty lucky on Link so far. Um, I think it's once the players hit level 24, if I remember right, they can start checking vendors for four links. Or is it? I think it's, it's 25. It used to yeah, be 28 it, at one point. Yeah, but Gary is one level above your player. If that's the case, then yes, absolutely. Then it's 24. Cool. Uh, so we see Noogie and Uber Elite are the only players not to wear chests so far. Yes. And what are we like level 23 on Dead and Doom right now? I, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with how much experience he's able to, uh, to gather while still being so fast about um, his progression. Yeah, it's insane. Like, he just balances going ahead while uh, getting XP so nicely. Like, he's not going to have any problems with XP penalty here. He's probably a little too much over level, actually. Usually, you're around 22 at this point. Um, so, he doesn't have to worry about killing a lot in the series. So it'll be interesting to see if we see all the players picking up the busts. I think, uh, didn't you do that the last time when you did this? Yeah. I feel Even like it's always it's... worth it because uh, even if you backtrack a little bit when you're racing as duelist, it's very dangerous being underleveled. Whereas here, mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to see uh, anyone being underleveled because you're killing a lot more with summon raging spirits. One of the only skill point quests that really seems to be worth uh, picking up for this type of race here. It's the only one that's kind of in the way without too much time sync. Yeah, you see, Dead Doom is actually, have... yep, there we go. He's even looking for like the far right one. So, wants to get that. Oh, Ooh, dropping a little low there. This charger's got to remember he only has one resist ring as well. So, he's not super high on resist. We're nearing the, um, the one hour mark for the race now. What do you think so far, sis, of, the, uh, of each contestant's really performance? It's looking really good all across the board. Like, you got to remember, Dead and Doom does have that death. So, and it's very easy in a race like this to pick up another one. There's so many things that can go wrong. You can get shot by all the darts in the hedge maze. Like, this is an easy death to pick up a couple of races uh, or a couple of deaths. I don't think we're going to see any deaths in the Zara Labyrinth. Just, I'm just banking on Decoy Totem being that OP. So, mm -hmm. we'll see. Um, however, until then, Dead Doom dropping pretty low to that exile here. It's, there's a lot of scary stuff. I recently died to that exile, critting. My uh, myself from eight thousand into zero, very that unpleasant very experience. Very enjoyable to watch. <laughs> very not enjoyable to experience. <laughs> I bet. But, uh, we're getting a uh, freak going up against a ball over soul here, and the same goes for Uber Elite, almost at the same time. And as you said, they, it seems like they are just coordinating their tanks here, holding each other's so hands, walking towards the finish line. Now, oh wow, Freak almost picking yeah. up another death to that laser pew pew. It's very interesting to see that every single player, while they are behind Dead and Doom, Dead and Doom is the only player not to pick up uh, Elemental Overload. I wonder how much faster he would be if he had it. I, he, yeah, he must have a. He must simply decide that it's not worth it for him. He will be able to kill fast enough anyway. Or I guess he has some priority points he wants to go for. Maybe he wants to get into. Uh, that minion damage faster. Yeah, that could be it. Um, Freak actually picking up a Magnate. It'll be interesting to see if he wears it for the 50% <laughs> increased fast charges. 
That's definitely useful. It does have a decent amount of uh, life too, as far as I remember. I don't remember now. I, I, he hasn't sold it, so. Or is it strength? I'm guessing it's gonna work. Yeah, I think it's. I think it's strength. Twenty life on it or something. Forty strength. And where do we have? We have. Then Doom is he in the? It looks like it may be the catacombs here. Going for the trial. And that means that uh, unless you skip them earlier, that yeah, it's fifty strength. This is going to be his uh, second last. Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll just see them like rushing straight forward. I I'm guessing he's going to go in at level twenty five. Then I'm surprised he's this high level already. Very nicely uh, managed with like leveling and being this far ahead. I'm su very surprised. I'm a little surprised that uh, Uber is not. Uh being faster right now, um, definitely knowing what he's doing. But I guess that movement speed loss or not having found any movement speed boots really does uh, hinder him a lot in this type of race. Yeah, it's very interesting very to see how like, yeah, oh, and there we have uh, Dead and Doom picking up a four socket, two red, two blue. That's exactly the colors he wants. He definitely wants to try to find a fusing right now. And even if it doesn't have a fusing, at least it uh, does have the colors he wants. So it's very, very big. That's basically all he's going to be hoping for right now is fusing. Checking his friend list, checking where Nuki is on the ladder. Then Doom is making sure that he is ahead of the race. Even though he does have that penalty. I believe the only per people we have with penalty right now is um, Freak and uh, Dead and Doom. Yeah, No doubts correct. on Nuki or... Uh, the Uber Elite and Nugi dropping very low there with oh, the discharges oh, in the room, oh getting surrounded, God. drowning in discharge, oh. and manages to survive before the other guys can finish. Taking that out was no very, one. very scary. Like, I'd say Nugi and Dead and Doom are extremely close, close right now because of that penalty. And you gotta remember, an unlucky Harbinger pack, and you can go down so fast in this. Especially with like keep spawning rares with the auras, and that's like the really, really dangerous thing about the Harbingers. Very true. Very true. Then Doom looking a little um, better as for the upcoming fight. He has 566 life, whereas Nuki only has 415. Pretty di big difference at uh, this point in time. And uh, you said says you went into Isaro at level 25 the last time. Yeah. With Dead and Doom being level 24 now, you can probably expect the Fally, uh, him entering the lab very soon. Yeah, still needs they, they are killing him, though. He still has to go for Solaris and Dox, so we might even see 26 here. He's really taking his time. He knows that he's ahead of every other player. Like He always checks out the competition as well and sees where they are. And he's just got such a big advantage right now. Here you see he drops the portal there, which uh, you save a little time. Um, because you run all the way down to Solaris 2, and then you uh, you d just grab the waypoint, go back to town, and then you're straight at the uh, docks. Another reason to do this as well is because you're usually too low level to get full XP in docks at this point, whereas Solaris is slightly lower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just looking at the Uber Elite. He's not looking happy. Exasperated face there. Not happy with his own performance. We both know uh, of that feeling, right? Mm, I think you're speaking for yourself there, Lifted. That's not what Noodle has told me. Oh, shit. Wait, are you photoshopping more? <laughs> Very likely. Very likely, yeah. <laughs> I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Where is... Uh, what is Freak doing right now? He's running in circles. He's completely confused down there. Moving down towards, I guess he's still. Um, is he trying to, to? Has he not been in the uh, in the near party yet? Um, he no, he does not there. have the key, so he is a little bit behind. Uberly is currently picking up the trial as well, so uh, everyone's doing pretty solid on the trial. And we have a uh, dead and doom. Uh, going into Solaris yet, looking to pick up an Essence. I'm not sure if it's just for the experience or if he actually wants it. It is an Essence of Anger, though. Oh, that's uh, pretty so decent. Getting some extra, I assume he would use it for, for some 
damage. Oh, and he just picked up minor or matter as well, and then he uh, stopped reserving his Arctic armor, so now he's only a hatred on, and everything else is just for extra life. That puts him at around 700 effective life. Very, very tanky with that decoy totem then. This should be an easy kill. We should be Still able to get this no Orb of Storms. I will be very surprised if we don't see Orb of Storms uh, going into Zaro. And uh, yeah, I guess, does everyone else have it right now? It seems like everyone else has it on their bar. Nuki, Uber, and Freak, yeah, everyone has accounted for it. Nuki is sitting there smiling. You know he's doing, you know he's doing well. He has the... Yeah, uh, very solid performance so far. The chains of beating the... Uh, the young rascal of Belgium. Older Danish lad beats. Wait, where's that <laughs> doing from? Is he Dutch? Belgian? I think he's Belgian. I could be wrong yeah, though. I think so too. A true Belgian blue, that's why he has all that muscle. And uh, you'll only understand that reference if you've been living on a farm. But uh, we're seeing and what are we seeing? Well, he's going up again into the docks now, getting the final um, quest item, and then we're gonna we're gonna see a, a straight run towards the um, the final trial, and then I I think we're gonna see him picking up level twenty six here now, and that will be the last of his handing in the quest items. He's gonna be running straight to Hedge Maze. I gotta remember that Den Doom doesn't like traps. So uh, we might see him going down to them like instantly once he gets to the hedge base. A couple of unlucky like poisonous traps to the face, and he could die. And we shouldn't underestimate like the the psychological effect of the traps too. You can be very demoralized if you're looking at a at a dangerous trap setup, and it isn't the first time he dies to traps. You will be shaking in his pains. So while we're talking about trap sifting, how do you? Oh feel about them? wow, that was so close for freak there, going very low. Sorry about that, sense. What are we saying? I was asking, how do you feel about traps? Like, are you comfortable with traps? Like, do you do lab a lot yourself? Yeah, I do lab a lot myself. It's it's some of my favorite content to, to do in a, in a new leagues. So I'll do hundreds of uh, lab runs. I I feel pretty confident uh, about traps. Do you uh, call yourself a trap always, enthusiast? Uh, I'm, am I a trap enthusiast? I don't know, uh, sis. I mean, aren't we all a little trap enthusiastic? Every Monday. Here we see Den Doom running into the hedge maze, and he's looking very solid so far. Uh, the traps have not yet descended upon him, but here we go. Let's see how he does. I'm not sure if you remember it, but these uh, there were some unique monsters in this zone oh, when you were in the earlier game that. that could completely destroy you in the past. Oh, yeah. I think it was back when Devours actually, um, there was no timeout on their team. Yeah. yeah. Super dangerous. And uh, we have uh, the Uber Elites running around in the sewers. Nuki on his way into Solaris. He hasn't picked up any of the, uh, or he hasn't been to the dock shed, right? No, he has not. He is, uh, I think he dropped a portal just the same as uh, Dead and Doom. Now you can see Nugi is dancing. He's feeling really confident right now because he's getting powered up by his subs. Everybody on that Nugi sub train is pretty cool to see all the community giving support. And meanwhile, Dead and Doom is getting shafted and not getting any fusings. So that helmet is still a thrilling and not the colors he wants either. Going for or opting in for resistance ring here over uh, live ants. We're gonna see, sis, we're gonna see the first, first person, person in Aspirin's Plaza. We are very close to getting a potential winner of this race, and it is Den Doom, pretty far, pretty far ahead of his competitors right now, even with the two minute penalty. I'd say he's around two minutes ahead, including the penalty. Like, Nugi is pretty close. Ah, uh, maybe three minutes. Yeah, two minutes seems a little low. He oh. still has to go and pick up that trial. Do you think he's going to die in the lab? Dead and Doom? Yeah. I think it's going to be a, a, a question of if he, can, if he can control those teenage hormones and, and not rage and, uh, and quiver too much. If he can keep a, a steady uh, playthrough here, Dead and Doom will be very solid. 
Well, he's already picked up one of the uh, disabling mechanics, which are super powerful when you're under level like this. And uh, he is still level 25, I believe. And we have uh, idols coming up as the first one. So I guess he, um, yeah, he, he felt it was worth it to try and disable one of the idols, even though it probably shouldn't make that much of a difference. But it is one less target for the SRS to try and attack. Uh, which could effectively increase his damage, I guess. Well, Putting up the we portal now. First, Isaro attempt by Dead and Doom coming up now, pre-casting his SRS, having some pretty nice uh, mana sustain. And look at that, Isaro not dealing much damage to him. Wow. And you wonder, see there's uh, one or two retarded SRS that goes to the wrong target, but well, that's, that's not a necessarily a bad thing. Like, having those down isn't bad. Oh, he remembers to swap the gems here. So currently he had uh, melee, or he had a chance to bleed, I believe, or added fire or something like that. But now he switched out to melee splash to deal with the skeletons. And we should uh, see the first, Zaro first is down Zaro. there. So smooth. So smooth. So easy. Oh, wow. wow. Maybe wow. spoken a little too early. I feel like I jinxed it. Wow, going down to... 10% taking more damage again. Isaro is mad now. He ain't letting no teenage boy take his die, throne. Die, die. I think everybody's hoping for a death there. It'd be very interesting. I must admit that uh, even though I'm not supposed to have those feelings as a commentator, I would love a death. Why not? Yeah. All right. I do. I hope for a death. Die, die, die. <laughs> wow. Very unprofessional, sis. Very unprofessional. You're probably not getting invited again. We bit a banter. <laughs> Um, Dead and Doom, what is he going for here? He is picking up... Uh, He's actually die. going for another chest. Dead and Doom, after having died 57 times in the lab in one of the previous Isaro um, attempts, he's playing it safely. He's playing it very well. Like he's managing his fast very well as well, which is something we've seen in past lab contestants that a lot of people panic when they get hit and just start mashing all their flasks. Mm -hmm. You can see that people are very used to having instant flasks. And Nugi almost dropping down so insanely low. He might have to go change pants after this race. That was like 20 life. Crazy mm -hmm. low. He's, he's so cool. Just see, instantly making a new dox. He's like, no, I don't like this one. It's bad. But I, yeah, I guess he, um, he didn't get the layout he wanted knowing it would take too much time to run to some undiscovered there, or maybe he just wanted to get rid of them. I guess that's possible too. I don't know if he had to pass them to get there. We're get, gonna see um, second phase now, Dead and Doom going up against Isaro, and this time around he do have the, um, the portal phase, which means there will be lots of uh, minions and potentially uh, drawing uh, his SRS away from Isaro, and he's taking about 50% uh, health drop there by Saro. And you shouldn't really underestimate that barrage too. And if you are at a certain distance, that barrage will keep uh, raining down on you. Yeah, you can see it does crazy amounts of damage. If he takes a wind slash, like as the barrage goes off, he's instantly done. So he's like taking care to kill the portals here, which is very nice play by him. It's a little out of range of his Zaro, and I don't know if he's using his decoy that much right now. There Ooh, we go. Going low. He needs then to move more. Oh my, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Come He's on, Isaro. I mean, Dead and Doom. <laughs> <laughs> he is... Um, he does have three health flasks, though. He does have a ton of sustain in here. He does have his decoy. It has yeah, to fuck up they're by are That is uh, looking very solid here, and he has so much flask left. And his uh, SRS are really going to town, giving him more flash charges as well. I'm not sure if he has melee splash in right now. He... does he have that? I think so. I think he does. He is using melee splash, but if he didn't, he would be at a, a great risk of being swarmed um, in this encounter. Yeah, you basically need it at this point. You can see he, that, like, he does very little single target. This is where EE really shines. Like, if you saw the other players on Vol, yeah. they were going down so much faster than Dead and Doom. You have definitely convinced me that that uh, seems to be the right play here. He, um, he does suffer a bit from not being able to kill him uh, fast enough here, putting himself at more risk by being in a, in a longer fight. 
He does have the time though. He is still ahead. And the thing is uh, now on normal difficulty since 3.0, there's no traps in the uh, final trial. So if you manage to disable Isaro's buffs in the previous two, then the final trial is actually going to be the easiest of them all. Yeah, I would be very, while I'm still hoping to uh, mix it up a little bit, I am uh, not expecting a death from Dead and Doom here. He's looking very solid, such good flask use, and just very, very calm in general. As long as he doesn't die to traps and he's Ooh. taking some damage there. <laughs> that could definitely be interesting. And there's some potential discharges there. So he wants to be a little careful. And he was just looking at his friend list again, seeing if Nuki was even in the uh, labyrinth. And uh, Nuki is just chilling around on his way now, for his uh, final trial. Someone in the audience just remarked as well, no flesh offering either from Dead and Doom. Very so true. while he still has Desecrate, he does not have flesh offering. Very That's, interesting. That is very interesting, yes. Could he possibly have confused the two? Well, I gotta remember, I'm guessing he does not play uh, Summoner a lot, but it does not seem to yeah. matter. He's just like, doesn't matter. Got skills. So he's just running ahead True. anyway. Or maybe he just really likes the chaos damage that the Desecrate adds that to the team. Be it. Maybe he like, heard about Project PT doing a uh, Desecrate and Detonate Dead. Um, I guess that's possible. I guess that's possible. I actually. Uh, is this the, the last, last room there? He is uh, going to go into the last room now, I think. Uh, there well. is potentially a Dark Shrine in the path, but I. Th well, oh, well, he could try to get it just because he has that lead. He want to be safe. But yeah, there final go. Aspirin's Aspirin's trial going trial. in there now. This is very exciting. That was so fast. So he's currently at 1 minute 20 seconds. We are about to potentially see the winner of this race here. Ladies and gentlemen, switch chat. Let's see some, uh, let's see some hype here. And, oh, and changing game, or <laughs> Jim Smith way, taking some barrage damage. Looking the very solid, saw using saw that up. decoy to full effect. There are Does no portals. Sure Ooh, Ooh, dropping a little low. I guess with the right attack and standing in fonts, if he's not um, aware of it, he could get taken down here. Yeah, and he does not have calling strike. And his SRS are just attacking everything other than Isaro right now. Finally getting some room for it. Oh, that was pretty close on the wind slash. That uh, elemental equilibrium would be very nice here. Well, it is going pretty smoothly right now. He's not getting hit at all. Like, managing uh, his position and the uh, decoy totem very nicely right now. He is on full life loss. He's very low on mana, though. That mind over mana keeping him down, making it harder for him to effectively summon his uh, Raging Spirits. Yeah, you can see that he's pausing a lot to summon. Looking very strong, though. I think we're going to see a kill here. And... And he's back yeah. up to full mana. Ladies and, there it is, and as gentlemen, Dead and Doom with the first kill. 33. Can we get some as in chat for the GOAT? Very, uh, very impressive display of, uh, of skill here. Very impressive. And um, now we see Dead and Doom bragging to his friends. He's telling everyone that he won the races this weekend, telling the world that he is a badass. We very, have a, very smooth. Very smooth, yeah. Very smooth. Nuki possibly um, being, the, uh, being in the second place now. Yeah, we see Nuki running in as well to the... Uh, I don't think he... I think he's just entered, right? Nuki has just entered. He's getting the um, the thing to disable. Orb of Eternity. So same as Dead and Doom. He's looking to disable the fonts. And uh, if we look at, at Uber Elite, he's not looking too happy despite his massive uh, donger. But he, he just... He hasn't been uh, playing that fast this race. And, yeah, uh, him and Freak are like exactly at the same spot. <laughs> there's like, there's so many things, it's crazy. 
if they don't know each other, they should uh, they should uh, try and hang out. Maybe they will uh, have some shared interest. They're like so in sync the entire race. It's scary. Yeah, it's it's uh, pretty funny. Except the fact that uh, Freak is, of course, uh, with that two minute penalty. We're seeing Anuki now going up in the first. Hmm, that's interesting. He's putting the decoy totem over behind the. It looks like he wants to actually disable some of the idols, uh, whereas Dead and Doom didn't seem to care about them at all. I'm wondering if Nugi is confusing them with conduits. No, I, I think uh, he just wants to not. keep them down for less elemental yeah. damage. Probably. Taking a bit of damage there, avoiding the swing. Ooh. That, oh, oh. That a little oh, dangerous oh, there. Oh, if that was a wind slash there, that would have been crazy. Do you think we're going to see a death to his arrow at all here? No. I don't think so. I want one. I, I will, I'll say, though, that if, if we're going to see a death, it's going to be in... Uh... Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> you need to stop jinxing people lifting. That's crazy. I... Whose side are you on? Sis, I think we both need to try and remember back. You were the person that almost ruined it for Dead and Doom, man. Nuki taking oh, no damage. He has, he has no, no flash flash. charges. I'm oh kidding. my god. <sighs> getting close Help there, but you can see. Out. He needs to keep that decoy up right now. Oh my Nugi god, and he's getting so hit. He cool cannot right afford now. to keep taking those hits right now. There is not a cooler person in Denmark than Nuki oh. right now. What? An amazing Look attitude. at that insane focus on his face right now and smiling and he is just, happy. Except for when you just said that. And once again, sis, you are ruining it for him. <laughs> now, have, and what do oh we mean? My uh, God. He has no flash charges again. He's really, really suffering. Does he have minor or minor? I don't think so. I think he I think he made no. Is he not using me melee splashes? That's the issue here. He does use melee splash, but he's not able to deal enough damage. Or I'm not sure. Maybe he's focusing a little too much on the um, idols. That is crazy. And Zaro is at around like 78%, 80% life as well. Yeah. Oh. Uh, compared to the uh, amount of time he's been in this fight, the damage has not been that good. Yeah, wonder what and the level of his SRS gem is. So you cool. gotta remember, he was one level lower than uh, Dead and Doom, so maybe Dead and Doom had an additional level on his summon raging spirits. That's a good point, and those levels make a huge difference. Ooh, dropping low again. Oh my level god! The oh, there. very He's nice. Taking those hits, getting pummeled by his arrow, and his arrow is still like very high right now, probably around seven percent away from the next stage. And Nugi standing in the, uh, I'm managing to avoid, but he's cool. He is cool. Isaro just spanking him like he deserves it. And there it is. The first stage is over and Nugi is through to the second stage. Um, we can see over in the bottom left, the Uber Elite is going through the hedge base right now, looking to do the trial. And Freak is very close behind doing um, entering the Imperial Gardens, going towards the hedge maze. It is going to be interesting to see uh, the Uber versus Freak here. So un unless Nuki dies, if Nuki dies, then it could be a fairly interesting uh, setup for all three here. If Nuki doesn't die, then it will be a, a, a fight to see who's not the loser. Between it's very Uber interesting to see and... that uh, Nugi's SRS is one level lower than uh, Dead and Doom, so that definitely might like put him at a disadvantage. That is uh, that is definitely a huge uh, damage decrease compared to or deficiency. First, we see um, Uber Elite is level twenty five, and Freak is about to hit level twenty six, so they might have an advantage here. And as far as I remember, this uh, this is not too uncommon of behavior from the Uber Elite. Playing a little slower, right? But just playing so steadily and gaining some levels, building up his character. And then when everyone else is dying and losing time, the Uber Elite just, you know, he swoops in, takes the girl, and then flies away. 
Yep. And, We've uh, seen Yugi here picking up the uh, portal sunder thing um, to disable one of the portals. Very nice move. Saves you a lot of time. Will be very interesting to see how smooth this stage will be. Like, uh, we really could definitely catch up as if, if his summon raging spirit is one level higher. Very true. Entering now. And we're getting the first, yeah, we're getting Uber lead in here now. Noogie dropping very low there. And you could see, you could see the terror in his eyes. One of the first times I've seen him not be cool. Yeah, he does not look uh, that confident right now. He got a little frazzled in some drops as well. So. Oh. I think, oh, Noogie's, I, I, look at the gameplay. His confidence is shattered right now. He's not just yeah, running through the lot, traps as easily as you should. He is scared. He's nervous for the next fight. I, are, is he killing a few monsters? I yeah, think once last started is yeah. for the trial is right here. Did he? This is did his? Uh, <laughs> wow, that's stuttering there. Did he manage to um, level up his uh, SRS in the meanwhile? It is level I don't six. Think so. And Dead and Dooms was level seven, so no, it hasn't leveled up. So now the interesting part here is if he's going to be completely swarmed by these minions. He did have some issues with that before. And it's going to be worse this time. He do have that, or he does have that um, thing to disable the per or the first of the uh, portals. Yeah, we can see here that uh, both both free and the Uber Elites are level seven as well. So very close race night right now between uh, Uber Elite and Nugi. Wow, wow Nugi! Oh, oh my god. god! Oh, wow! He's very cool though. Oh, and so that close. barrage. That's the dangerous thing about being far away from his sorrow. You cannot see if he's winding up that. Uh, attack or if he's uh, shooting the barrage until it's too late and you have it all in your face and your eyes are hurting and uh, we're gonna see the first is it oh, the first is oh. our fight now from uber yeah oh my god it's going to be interesting to see now that uber's uh, first aspirin trail is launching up if it's going to be smoother than this if noogie can get through this phase then he Nugi's should have it Uber Elite looking pretty good on Isaro there. He's taking out the melee splash. That's bro, so that's see that he is completely ignoring the uh, idols, which is a very smart move. He's getting all of his focus damage on Isaro. So look how fast the first stage is. This is a very smart move. Yes, he was one of the people who managed or did decide to take out his melee splash. Nugi Ooh, going Nugi low again. Low again. I cannot. It says I cannot watch this. Look at Azaro's health. Uberlead has loads of time to catch up. Like, he has, he's struggling with all oh, the ads. Oh, I cannot handle it. No. <laughs> so much excitement. Oh, We're not trained Nugi. for this. Wow. And Nugi absolutely still being absolutely cool. He's just taking, like, a complete champ right there. Only opening his eyes as much as he needed. Oh, That's I, so like, crazy. Uber, Uber could catch up here because he does have... It seems like he has more damage, and Nugi is taking forever with this Isaro oh face. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, indeed. This is crazy. You can see that still some of the mobs from the early portals are still up. Like, he's just he's really struggling with getting them down, and then, like, more and more skeletons are spawning, and he's going low again. <laughs> and Isaro is barely taking damage. Like... <laughs> but remember, those mobs have an energy shield, so Nugi. if you're not able... Oh, no, what are you doing? Oh, I feel like... Uh, I don't even know what to say to this. I don't even know what to say to this. Which is actually really poor when you're a commentator, right? You're well, it looks like right now, it looks like he's like... It's sort of like a sheep herder. He's not really hurting them too much. He's just like pinching them in the right direction, making a nice circle. He's got a nice territory here. Like maybe these things will start growing wool and he can shave them and make a nice jumper, maybe barter with the Zaro and try to come to some sort of deal here. But right now, this is not looking good for Nugi. This, this is exactly like my first girlfriend not giving it up after all that, or all those tries. Holy shit, he's not even, I don't, well, he's, uh, what is he at, like, how much percent does, she, does he need? Oh! 
I'm done. I'm done. That's so crazy. <laughs> like, Cube's taking these in. And meanwhile, <laughs> we see the Uber leaders just running towards you. He probably knows, like, people do talk to the streamers while they are racing. So all he needs to do is, like, hurry up here. He definitely has a chance now. He has a very, oh, very real he chance. He is now entering the second trial. Ooh, and guys. his is around 50%, so halfway through stage two. If he can, like, just, like, quickly get through this stage. Now, I didn't see if he managed to get the Disabler, but this is super exciting right now. He's catching up like hell. But remember, both of these players do not have a penalty. This is amazing stuff we're seeing right now. Nuki's Summer Raging Spirit have leveled up to 7 now. They ain't the same for Uber. So it's a... Oh, this is going to be a matter of, uh, of positioning here. And maybe a little luck on... Uh, on the SRS targeting. It's very unlucky for Nugi that you don't get experience in this fight because he would be like level 40, 45 at this point. Like, he's spent <laughs> a lot of time in that fight. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how fast it goes for Uber. Really. It does look... How much life... Like, Nugi is looking good on life, though. Uber Elite only having 465, whereas Nugi is at a 534 right now. I didn't notice how much Dead and Doom was at near the end, but he was also using Mind Over Matter... And he did it super smoothly. Oh, no yeah, issue at all. Done so smoothly. He's really using his EE as well, which we saw. Uh, I, I didn't see Nuki use his EE that much. And oh my god, Uber being a straw away from dying there. That was so close. And we see that Freak is actually going back and doing the prison trial. because Freak he has is releveling a character, starting a new one. And uh, I guess that's the, the first trial he's now attempting. And uh, it's got to be the last one, isn't it? Yeah. How much do you see? Yes, that was the last one. Okay, so we're gonna see Freak now heading into the labyrinth. To this is actually um, this is a little closer than than I thought. All Uber needs to do now is finish this trial, then be really fast running through those taps. Getting a little overwhelmed now as well. So Does... uh, he did finish them very quickly, though. He just needs to run next to him and uh, finish him off. Despite Nugi being very cool, I do think though that. This skill here from Uber has seemed a little smoother and faster too. If it's you, got, all it needs to happen now is that you need to get a little lost in the lab and uh, it's, it's so close. Oh, wow. Oh, dropping low there, Uber Elite. He's so close to like finishing this stage and then it's just like the last one. It's Insanely it close for a second. Right now. Be now. He has a good swarm there. It is. Up there. there it is. It. Wow. So Nugi is one zone ahead, but you got to remember his damage so far has looked quite a lot lower. He does have minion damage level seven now, but I feel like I feel like Uber is very very close here. I feel like it's going to be so close. The potential extra minute it might take Nugi to kill Isaro is the minute that Uber needs to catch up. But uh, Uber really needs to just run through the lab right now. He has no time to stop up and kill anything if he wants to catch up. Not a good time to farm. It's... Definitely I... not. Now we see Nugi entering the last Aspirant's trial and getting ready to channel his SRS. Let's see how fast he can get him down. Uber needs to be really quick if he's going to have a chance here. He does not have time to kill mobs. This is... Uh... It's getting close, but Nugi does have a very nice uh, potential lead here. Oh, Izaro is going down really quickly in the last stage. So unless we see, I, I mean, you got to remember those like minions that with energy shield, they are not spawning anymore. So it's just going down really quickly. Ooh, Nugi taking Ooh. some damage there, taking it to the face. He's remembering his EE. He's remembering a uh, like very, very nice play from Nugi here. He seems to have collected himself. It's going down extremely quickly. And Uber Elite just keeps farming stuff. Oh, <laughs> Nugi taking oh. damage again. Wow, that was close. He keeps pulling it close. Maybe he's doing it intentionally. He, 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 he is an entertainer, right? He knows yeah, what the crowd true. wants. Are you not entertained? This is not why you are here. <laughs> oh. Taking some damage again. If he gets unlucky with that barrage and that swing, 
Well, a wind slash crit will probably kill anyone at this point. Even the charge deals a lot of damage right now. And Arnuki going to get second Isaro oh here. My God. It is very close. And Nuki gets it. Nuki gets One, it. 36, 16. Just as the Uber Elite is about to enter the um, wow. final trial to wow. 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 definitely caught up near the end. I'm very uh, I'm very impressed with that. Yeah, that was extremely close. Like he handled um, the phases so well that he was catching up. Like he was pretty far behind, but he caught it up a lot in lab. Let's see how fast it's going down for Uber later now as well. Like being very confident. Wow, look at the damage. So the thing you want to hope for here, if you if you're in for the entertainment, <laughs> is exactly that, uh, or potentially even a death. So that freak has a chance here. Freak has that one uh, death penalty. So Uber is looking very good here, unless he dies. But uh, oh, oh my God! And Uber Whoa. going one thirty-seven <sighs> eleven, and Freak going low over there too. Oh, Freak is in for a world of pain here. He's very nice damage. Oh oh oh! And he's and in. Freak died. <sighs> what a freak accident right there. Freak losing another two minutes. Question is, will he ever get it done? I'm actually, um, I didn't notice. What was the time on Dead and Doom? He was, how much faster was he than Nuki? I think it was around eight minutes, seven minutes. That's sad. That's a Dead, Dead and Doom Havoc is saying it was 119. That is pretty impressive. Seven. Very impressive for an SRS run. My math is bad, but that's crazy. Damn. That is even faster than your win the other time is this with uh Yeah, that's insane. And that's with SRS. Beat by the young rascal. The that blue stallion insane. doesn't stain the chains apparently. I'm and, uh, scared that no one does. <laughs> oh, freak getting overwhelmed. That is pretty <sighs> scary. Now, and you're, you're trying to imagine what's going through the head of a freak right now. And uh, if, if I were him, I would just really want to finish this now. I just, I didn't want to risk dying again. I didn't want to be that guy who didn't get through the trial. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Try to remember like these trials, like the early one is like pretty harsh because your SRS keeps getting spread out. Mm -hmm. That's why the really tactic of pulling everything up top was really nice. He, um, his summon raging spirit is actually level 8, and he is level 28 himself. He should be in a very good position to deal with this, but he seems to be taking a lot of damage. Um, oh, oh, wow, and he dies oh, again. Oh, this is, this is a little painful. And he writes in chat, I give up, my resists up. are like 20. Are we accepting the Havoc, or? Freak. Throwing in the white flag after otherwise a pretty uh, impressive display of yeah. There is a tap crazy. out rule if you're allowed. So he taps out. He says, "Uncle, um, that is it. The race is done. So let's get Dead and Doominary if he's still awake." <sighs> oh, I, I can relax now. Dead and Doom, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. It was a fun uh, race. Same performance, dude. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations, yeah. What, uh, it looks like everything just uh, went right this time, Dead and Doom, except for that unfortunate trap kill. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't flame that. No, that, that was very embarrassing. Yeah. No, I'm just um, kidding. Very, very impressive what, display of skill. Thank you, Trials. That's, uh... Something I noticed is you did not pick up uh, Elemental Equilibrium. Was that intended? Did you not feel like yeah. it was worth it? I don't like it with Flame Nash because like, I would just like Flame Nash over Isaro sometimes mm -hmm. and then I would give him resist with it. So. Oh. And then you think... had uh... Sorry, go ahead. I think other weakness is more than enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah that was like that very, very fast. On normal. Um... You'd finished in at 119. Very, very impressive um, uh, kill time. 
what when you don't play SRS, what is what are your times like if you're going as fast as you can for an Insaro kill? Well, I, I could probably do like 105 with Sunder. 105? Wow. Wow. Okay. That's what about pretty... Flash Offering? Was not using that intended as well, or is that something you forgot? Because I saw you had Death. Uh, yeah, I, I, use, I didn't use it for Insaro, I don't know. Just there's already so much shit I have to keep in mind. Yeah. Like, recasting decoy. And then casting Desiccate and Flesh Offering. It's, uh, I don't know. it's probably okay. worth doing, but it's really a lot to. How were you feeling at the trials? Like, were you confident? Like, or did you get panicky at all times? Uh, I mean, I practiced it like two or three times before and didn't die. And this time I had better gear, so I was pretty confident. Oh, nice. Mm. And how did you feel about the lab layout today? I mean, the portals are definitely the worst for it, SRS. How do you feel about uh, SRS in general as a racing pretty skill? Pretty bad. Pretty bad, okay. Yeah. Is that only because of the uh, slow start or is it also I mean, at this point? If you use it at level 4, yeah, it's definitely really bad. But even if you do it at level 8, which is when you're supposed to do it, I still think it's like way worse than Thunder or Firestorm. Okay, okay. It's definitely interesting to see you play something uh, else to uh, Den Doom. Very, very convincing display of, of skill here. Congratulations on your win. Very deserved. Yeah, congratulations. Is there anything you felt you did like exceptionally well or anything you felt like you could have improved? Um, I went to town twice because I kept I forgot something. So that's not good. Hmm. Uh, I got pretty lucky too. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you. Right. And congrats on your performance. Thank you for talking to us. Me. All right, and I guess that means we are uh, pulling in like the coolest of all the streamers. Nukian, are you here? Uh, hello. Hello. So, uh, how's it going uh, right now, Nuki? Let's tell us what's going through your uh, through your head. Mm, disappointed a little bit with my time. I okay. was hoping to at least get below one thirty. Mm. Were you surprised as to how close you and uh, Uber Elite were? No, not really. You were quite ahead uh, of the Uber Elite and uh, Freak 2 for, for a very big part of the game, but it seems like that the thing that held you down the most was probably the actual Isaro fight that seemed very dangerous at times. Yeah, I haven't really... I never got to really set up a, a good a good strategy, so I wasn't sure like how much damage I could tank. So I had to just play it safe because I knew I didn't want to die. Because if I died, I felt okay. Then I just lose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So because I don't have I don't have enough practice runs on this to really know how to set up the fight, and I thought on the last one with the all the portals that you'd have to kill them, otherwise you would get overrun. But apparently, Dead and Doom didn't, from what I hear. So, yeah, having to kill those portals is the worst thing ever. Yeah, it's very hard for SRS. Now, see, I, I'm under the theory that you are uh, you had so many close calls, so we're kind of thinking maybe you're doing this intentionally to entertain the viewers. <laughs> so many close calls. How did that happen? Were you nervous? Or? That was so stressful. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit nerves. I was, it's <laughs> just, I didn't, I didn't feel like I had the best run, so it's kind of getting to me a little bit. You um, were also, um, compared to Dead and Doom, who had a level seven SRS, I believe. Yours was six. Yeah, my was only six when I entered, and that that really yeah. fucked me over. Yeah. Oh, he did kill all the portals. Okay, so on the second fight, I didn't know that I was literally one peg away from some like leveling my SRS. Uh -huh. I hadn't seen it. So as I enter, I look and I saw that it was level six. Mm. But I had yeah. already started okay. the fight yeah. when I noticed. So. Uh -huh. that was that was a mistake, and that that was kind of what threw me off for like the entire thing. Because then I had I had two um I had two um what are those called the all bearers bearers whatever I had two yeah. of those. I was only supposed to have one. Ah. Okay, so you were actually trying to uh, to effectively put in the yeah. effort to take them down. Okay, I would have just if if I had known known I wouldn't have gotten the second one. I would have taken it up to the top corner instead. Where there isn't the idol to to kill as well. Yeah, yeah I like that's that strategy. what uh, Uber they did. But uh, yeah, how? So, what would you do different, uh, Nugi, if you if you had to do this race again? 
I need to be better at deck one, two, and three. At my deck one, I think it's fine. I think yep. I need to improve at two and three. Okay. Like I can I can do that a lot better. The Isaro stuff is mostly about just figuring out the fights. Um, I'll have to. I, I'm gonna look at like Dead and Dooms what he did because it's always better if you can just face tank anything and not yeah. move. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about decoy totem in that, these races? Like, do you are you I happy decoy totem, totem, totem was OP. in? <laughs> <laughs> well, for this race, I think it has to. I don't think you do this really without it. Mm, be well, interesting guess, to see. Okay, if you if you do without, I think if you do without decoy, you have to get to 28 to get the extra level on the uh, summon raging spirits. Yeah. Like then, then the, I think the strategy becomes that. Otherwise, it's actually surviving through all this with this many ants. Ooh. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think then you'd have to like level a little bit more. It could be done. I think you went in around uh, level 24 and then Doom was level 25 yeah. when you went in. The same for Uber Elite. Uh, uh, I don't really think it changes much. Does it? Well, it just means you, you're closer you have, to that level just, than the SRS. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's mostly just getting the SRS mm -hmm. level. Yeah, It's not absolutely. really about getting 25. Because 24 is when you have all damage. Mm -hmm. So um, you used Elemental Equilibrium. Do you feel that helped you a lot? Eh, honestly. Mm, I don't know. I, the, I think it was, it was both good and bad. I think maybe it's maybe it's a mistake because I was thinking about it a lot. Because if you if you spec it early, you can't flame dash through packs, and just turn and kill, mm. and you have to like add yeah. in the orb storms to get more damage. So I think uh, you would not spec that in, uh, and then you would only spec that on top until like once you hit the first Isara fine, and then you use it from then on out. Maybe stuff like that could be could be smart. Yeah, Especially if, sure. you, if you, you have like a lab where you can tank much more and you can just stand there with EE, where you don't have to run around as much. It's just a huge damage boost. And you had it for Vol, right? Uh, yeah. Or Vol, I mean, yeah, because it's like a like very, very fast Vol kill compared to Dead and Dooms. Yeah. I think you may uh, have been the only one who didn't go mind over matter to Nuki. What was the uh, reasoning behind this? Oh, uh, I don't know. I just hadn't really, like... I hadn't really uh, tried it out at all. I've done like a okay. few practice runs today, um, and none of them included Miter or Matter. I, I did think about it, but... What were your uh, times in those, nice. uh, in those practice runs? What were your time then? Oh, but I never, I never got it. I never actually killed this arrow. Well, I killed okay. this arrow uh, like 1.30 on my first run with yesterday's okay. layout. Like the thing is, I got a double Quicksilver, and I couldn't even beat my like last like last night's Act One and Two, which is crazy. Mm. So that it's, that's uh, that really annoyed me that I couldn't even beat that. But I had such bad instances; they were they were so long, so many of them. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like uh, like the RNG with layouts is pretty huge in races? Oh yeah, yeah, that's it's, why I really like the fixed layout races. Mm. I don't know. I think I like I like that you can adapt. Uh, if it's like if there's a big prize at the end of one race, sure. So if you have if you like have one race with prizes uh, for that specific race, yeah, a fixed layout is good. But if you're speed running, um, I like it better when there's variance. Like if mm -hmm. you have like multiple ones and you're trying to get the best run possible, because you have to adapt to that, and I really like that. Yeah. So I, I enjoy it more whenever there's not fixed. Well, that's definitely something interesting uh, to see if, how well the streamer knows the layouts and learns yeah. how to Yeah, I like them. that you yeah. can't prepare. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Do you have any uh, more you want to ask, uh, Nuki? Is this... No, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for participating. Congratulations on coming second, Nuki. Yeah, Thank very you. well. Thank you. And uh, are we going to get um, the Uber lead in here now? Uber. Hey. Uh, he's not in. How are oh, you he doing? is here. Uber, what's up? Uh, not much. What's your thoughts? Uh, I had really, really terrible RNG throughout <laughs> the start of the race. Did you even manage to get uh, movement speed boots eventually? Nope. 
No. Winning the entire race. A few times. Yeah. <laughs> the entire race. I was just like, still no move speed. <laughs> oh god. You were looking a little exasperated a few times as I was looking at you. You were. Uh, I don't know if you were like keeping track of the other players, but you were extremely catching up on Ugi there at the end. Oh yeah. Um, like you went from being like three minutes behind to thirty seconds. Yeah. That was. Yeah, you. Go ahead. Sorry. That was mostly part of a. Uh stratting for azaro like see i spent most of yesterday just testing my limits what can what can i do on azaro what if i have blind on orb of storms things mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. and you were the first person to pick up ee like how did you feel about that the other players or like den doom didn't pick it up at all for example yeah den doom was saying that he doesn't like ee so he just not never gonna pick it up because he likes to flame dash a lot yeah um i picked up ee mostly for the faster boss kills um, I can see why you would not pick it up, but I think EE is pretty important on Azaro. So, what do you think is was the like? What was the biggest reason you didn't get a better time? Uh, well, the biggest reason was my start. Like everything up to Brutus was just awful. I didn't have level eight until like end of Upper Prison, which means I didn't have any melee splash like. I mm -hmm. had so many bad packs that would just kill the SRS. I just couldn't cast yeah. SRS because mm -hmm. they would just leap and AoE damage the SRS to death. All right. And I, I'm, I'm not sure how I would feel about not having found uh, movement speed uh, boots on and then yeah. so demoralizing. <laughs> oh, it is. Uh, how do you feel about SRS as a racing skill? And you play summoners quite a lot. Were you like in your comfort zone here? Eh, I was kind of in my comfort zone towards the end. But, uh... At the beginning, definitely wasn't doing too well. It's pretty strong, but definitely not great early game. And what about Decoy very... Totem? Decoy Totem is really strong. Yeah, we're playing very solidly, though, and I, I've been watching a few of your past races, and I feel like it, that's a pretty common thing for you. You may not like be the absolute fastest in the beginning, but you always manage to really like play very safely, very solidly, and, and catch up on your competitors. Is that something you try to do um, on purpose, or is that just well, how, okay. how you go about it? Well, going into this race, I kind of expected people to, to you know, die a bit, because today's Azaro is really, really tough. Mm -hmm. I heard Nugi was having a lot of problems with it, and I can understand completely why. Yeah, yeah the... Targeting of the SRS is definitely annoying in there. Yeah. Especially with the portals and all those mobs in there that are super tanky. Mm -hmm. It's uh, really rough. But uh, it's, it's well. not a style I t generally go for purposely. But um, it kind of just happens sometimes. Like, sometimes I'm just not geared well and I'm, and like, I don't really have a choice, but I feel I feel like the only possible thing that can happen is, you know, hope that the hope that the others die and stay safe and try not to take time penalties. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, is there any like major things you would change if you could go back? Um, I sh I wish I could have bought a uh, a better shield. One of the things was I was looking for a twenty four Dex amulet for uh, Painted Buckler because that actually gives you move speed. Uh, plus three on the shield. Yeah. And I, I could have used a better chest for Azaro. I didn't realize how bad this chest was. It was only 54 evasion. I actually only had 264 evasion in all of my practice oh. runs. I had like 400, 500. But it went well, so. Yeah, especially for how bad RNG you had. Like, you had no nice pickups mm -hmm. at all there, so. Very solid. Yeah. I think I think I did well for the RNG. I yeah, don't so. know what else I would change, really. That seems to be a very... Uh... Like a common occurrence for you. Like you, you seem to be performing very well in almost any race you're going up against right now. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank uh, you for participating, Uber Rats. Thank you. And I'm not sure, do we have the, um, the pleasure of getting a freak in here too? Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Um, so, yeah, first of all, I had really, really bad RNG. Like, I used like 12 chromatics on Drilling Wand, didn't get yeah. my colors. <laughs> then my first plus one fire was like level 22 after a while. And 
yeah, I had like no currency drops too. Like had 30 resis on Izara. So I was just getting one shot with like 700 HP by slash. Oh yeah, I know yeah. that was crazy. Very unfortunate. Really bad RNG compared to like Kitava race. Early you also had very bad RNG that just like with, with anything, I didn't see like any nice items. Yeah, like also had uh, one death on Hellbreak because Harbinger pack was there. Right. Yeah. yeah, that yeah, was that... a bit unfortunate and too. How did that make you feel for the rest of the race? Having like a penalty that early on must like mess with your head a little bit. I think I did, I think I did still pretty good considering I had really bad RNG. Mm -hmm. yeah. You and um, Uber were actually almost like guys were holding hands and deciding to go through the constant at the same time. Yeah, but he, he had better RNG too. I, he did not have the best RNG though, but um, it, it, that may be true. I'm not sure uh, who had the better, but you definitely both seem to have some struggles with the, with the RNG. What, uh, what made the decision of, of opting out of the Isaro fight eventually? I saw you were typing something about you not having uh, resists. Yeah, I had no resists at all. Like, okay. didn't have any topaz rings or like fire rings on Vendor too. Didn't mm -hmm. have wisdoms, didn't have like any currency at all. Yeah. So, not the greatest feeling. Like I would I would probably not finish it even if I tried more. Yeah. How did you enjoy SRS as a racing skill? Uh, uh I'm never gonna play it again. Like, <laughs> I never played it and I'm never gonna play it again. Did it's you so practice much. a lot like, for I this race? I didn't even know what gems to use. What? Yeah. Did you practice a lot for this race? No, I like I knew about this race about like two hours before this race. And like, I never played SRS, so I didn't know what gems to use. Yeah, for you were actually uh, going in instead of wa Waggle, right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that obviously means that you had less time to practice or even just think about how you want to do the race. And of course, that puts you at a disadvantage too. Uh, I appreciate you signing up though. Yeah, yeah, thank you. That's great. Thanks. Um, did you feel uh, Decoy Totem was too powerful, or did you feel it was needed for this race? Yeah, it was needed, I'm a, At least on, like, Brutus, maybe. Yeah. It's really good. I think, um, in general, it, those Isara finds, without that Decoy Totem, they just get insanely dangerous. Yeah. With the Decoy, it, it's almost double as easy, if not more. Makes makes such a big difference. It was interesting to see the um, the no totem races too, and how much that actually impacted uh, the races when that was a, a thing. Um, Sis, do you have something you want to ask? Uh, no, I think that's oh, pretty much it. Unless, is there anything you would have done differently uh, besides get better items? Just practice more. I don't know. Like I didn't know what gems to use. Yeah, I think you, uh, despite that, you did uh, pretty well. You were able to uh, to have a, around the same time uh, to enter the lab as uh, Uber Elite. Yeah, I was just watching that on Doom stream and like doing same as him, gems and stuff. Mm -hmm. But still, it was like I didn't know what does what because I never used these gems ever, like Desecrate yeah. or Flash Offering. Well, thank you so much for participating, and you did a really good job, as you, we all agreed, besides the RNG. So, yeah, thank you. And thank you yeah, for your self and, and I think uh, I would imagine Havoc to uh, jump in now and say some words yeah, of wisdom, sure. being, being a true Gandhi. True Gandhi, thank you for that compliment. <laughs> and thank you for uh, casting today. It was a blast. I was uh, cracking up the whole time. Thank you very much for having us. <laughs> Yeah, no problem. So, coming up next in approximately one hour from now is event number 15, the streamer event. It is a twinked normal Zara kill. The racers will be wearing Tabula Rasas, sponsored by Cute Dog himself. So, stay tuned, guys, and we'll be back shortly. <laughs>